いや世界は常に変化する15番目だ How's it going, everybody? It's Eon here, and welcome to day 23 of the Final Fantasy 15 Countdown Retrospective. Before you proceed, I highly recommend you check out day 24, in which I discussed Final Fantasy 15 news all the way up to Tokyo Game Show 2013. In this video, I'm going to finish up the rest of the news for the year 2013. It was on September 20th, 2013, that Famitsu released a transcript of Tetsuya Nomura's creator interview that he participated in during TGS 2013, which was later translated by website Siliconera. The next bit of news would arrive a little less than a month later. On October 28th, 2013. On this date, website IGN interviewed Final Fantasy XIII trilogy director Motomu Toriyama, who had some information to share about Final Fantasy XV. One of the questions that he was asked by IGN was regarding the goddess of death, Etro, who Lightning served as a champion in Final Fantasy XIII II. The same goddess was also referenced in various Final Fantasy vs. XIII and XV trailers, so when asked what that means as far as the relationship between the XIII and XV series go, he had the following to say. You must remember it was a long time ago that we named those three games 13, as well as Versus and Agito, which we now call Type Zero. Obviously, those three projects were going to be developed against the backdrop of this Crystal Trilogy, or Fabula Nova Crystallis. But each project has a different set of characters and they're set in different universes and worlds. When Etro is mentioned in the context of 13 and 15, we are referring to the same goddess of death. It's the same goddess, but how she's featured, how she appears, and how she's involved with the story is completely different. There are different stories and different projects, so while it's the same character, her involvement is very different. So, what Toriyama is basically saying is that while 15 still makes use of the Final Fantasy mythos and even some of the mythos of the Fabula Nova Crystallis series, ever since it became 15, it's become a game of its own with its own representation of those mythos. It's a small thing, but a key distinction for people to keep in mind. The next bit of news would arrive a little over a month later on November 30th, 2013. On this date, Jeff Keighley, who was getting ready to host the 2013 Video Game Awards, confirmed that he was not aware of any Final Fantasy XV news for the event, which was something that people were hoping for after the game basically skipped Tokyo Game Show 2013. So that was unfortunate news. To make matters worse, news outlets also reported that Final Fantasy XV would not be making an appearance during Jump Festa 2014. Which was set to take place from December 21st to December 22nd. In other words, the rest of the year held nothing new for the highly anticipated title. Game director Tetsuya Nomura did make one final statement during an interview with website Famitsu that was released following Jump Festa 2014. According to translation, all he had to say was Final Fantasy XV is still currently focused on development, and I want you to wait until the timing is right to reveal more information. Thus concludes the last bit of information for 2013, which was both an exciting and disappointing year. On the one hand, we got an awesome new trailer and reveal of the game at E3 2013, including its name change from Versus 13 to 15. But on the other hand, the rest of the year was marred by minor or vague revelations through interviews, as well as more of the same old please be patient pleads that seem to indicate we were in for another long wait. With that, I would like to end this episode of the Final Fantasy XV Countdown Retrospective. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below any memories you'd like to share of your anticipation for the title during 2013. And to be further updated on all things Final Fantasy, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Yong out! <laughs>